Hey everyone, this is Sybil. Welcome to my channel. I mentioned yesterday in my video that I was hoping to receive my planner. And after I did my video yesterday, sure enough, UPS guy came up and there was my planner. So um, I'm here to share that with you. And it is a faith planner. Now I've been doing what I call faith planning, Bible journaling. I mainly call it Bible journaling. Um, for many, many years, my kids were young when I started using an actual planner. I bought it from a Christian website long, long time ago. And um, I mean, my kids were little and I worked. I also homeschooled and I taught at church. And then of course my husband worked and so using a planner was really great and then I started um, Bible journaling at around the same time and so now our oldest son is going to be 37 years old this month so I've been doing this quite a long time I would love to say that I've done that faithfully every day all these years but that's just not the case you know things happen um, whether it be moving or you know just life being so fast at the speed of a bullet you know and it's like you hardly have time to sit down and think let alone um, you know fill out a planner but I have tried for the most part um, to keep up with Bible journaling and so I've shared with you um, that I love to use the Happy Planner for my planning. And this year I tried something different. I used the Happy Planner for my Bible journaling. And it's okay, but I felt like something was lacking. I wanted a little bit more than what I was doing. And so these are um, right here. This is like my... I guess you could call it my journal because I've got my, it's called, this says grace and gratitude. And those are from the Happy Planner. And in the morning when I have my prayer time, I have a devotional and then I read the Bible. And I like to journal key verses, verses, you know, that really speak to me, verses that I want to memorize. And then I will write down also prayers and praise. And, you know, um, I have my Strong's Concordance and my commentary, my Bible handbook. I have um, a Bible study app, two of them, no, one of them on my phone, and a really big app on my computer for that purpose because I really want to get into the Word of God and I want the Word of God to get into me and to change me. Sorry, my watch at the table. And to change me. And, um, you know, the Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing the Word of God. So when I go to church, I like to also journal, keep notes, you know, sermon notes. And that helps, you know, put that into me and keep that in my mind, my heart, my spirit, what the pastor has preached on. So I do the same with my Bible journaling. And um, I used to read the Bible, tried to read the Bible through in a year. This year I did something a little bit different. I started the year reading um, the New Testament. Actually, I don't even think it was at the beginning of the year. I was finishing up the New Testament that I had started last year. Um, and now I'm reading both the New Testament and the Old Testament and trying to read both daily. And um, so when I do my journaling, I like to write, you know, like I said, key verses, verses that I want to memorize things I feel like the Holy Spirit impresses me. Um, I want to write down praise and prayers. And um, so what I've been doing this year, instead of just using like a, a journal that I've purchased from a Christian bookstore, I started using this Happy Planner. Now this is their Faith Planner, but I, I didn't do it the way they did. So here they've got, you know, like prompts to do daily. 
um, that just wasn't something I wanted to do. I want to open this up to where. So here, this is in January. So here I would write, um, and I've decorated some of them and other pages, not so much, you know, like this. I started doing this and just left it like that and maybe put a little sticker over here. But um, what I would do is write the key verse or key thoughts from my daily devotional. And then down here, um, write again key verses from the scripture text for that day. And then in here, I would write more uh, detailed Bible study of the verses. And so um, it's okay, you know, I mean, it's, it's worked, but like I said, I felt like there was something more that I wanted to do than that. And um, actually, I'm with this, what I'm mainly doing is Bible study. I would like a place to write um, prayers and praise and, um, and not just one sentence. You know, I showed you that those prompts, it was like one line that they gave you. I want to write, you know, out more than just one line of like a prayer or a praise. So I was on Instagram and I follow the prayerful planner on Instagram. It's Jennifer and she and her husband have this business and they make faith planners, faith journals, and what's really neat is they also have, for people that say they don't prefer to use a planner like this, um, they want a digital planner. They've got that over on their website. And you can download it. You can print it off. You know, so they've got that. And that's more affordable, you know, obviously, than a big planner. Um, she is having a sale right now, 50% off. So what I will do is down in the description box, I'm not getting anything for it, but if you're interested in even just going over and looking at what she has on her website, I will put the link down below. Now this is one of their new planners. So it, I don't believe it's on sale. I could be wrong. But when I purchased it, it was not on sale, but I did get a discount code. Um, I can't remember if I, where I got that. I might have got it off their website. Um, but this is so beautiful, and I just fell in love with this. And I'm going to also put in the description box a link to Jennifer's YouTube channel where she walks you through the planner and explains everything really well. And... Um, so I won't be doing that. I'll just open it up and show you a few pages and then show you this and then let that be that. But while you're looking at how pretty this is, I want you to see that uh, the packaging, it are, this was the box it came in. No, I'm sorry. Okay, this is what I'm trying to say. say this was the box it arrived in. And inside the box, <laughs> now we got it is this box which is so so beautiful and really sturdy so when i'm done using this planner you know it's probably going to last me for a year um then i can either leave the planner out like this on my planner shelf i have a little uh, i'm not even sure if it's going to fit on my rascog cart or i can put it back in this box and keep it there and of course, this is my favorite blue color, that minty blue color. I love that. And um, so yeah, this one I can use to mail some happy mail in. And I love the crosses in there. Okay, so this is the prayerful planner. And just got a pocket over here. And like I said, I'm not going to share with you all the details of it, but I love the gold rings here. I love the gold tabs. And you can, um, you know, put your months on it. It's an undated planner, which I really like. That way you can start it any time of the year. Um, so it is beautiful. I did want to take you to the beginning. 
just to show you that you can use this for an all around planner. She's got prayer request, word of the year, verse of the year, and then here are goals. So it's spiritual goals and then also, you know, family, health, financial, even hobbies. So that's really neat. And um, you've got room for writing prayers and praise and prayer requests and verses and journaling. So I love this. And um, I'm really looking forward to using this. And I can, I've noticed several people on their YouTube channels are using this. I, I found videos on this after I'd purchased this planner. Um, where they use it, you know, they make it their own and really neat and a lot of it is what I was thinking I would I would like to do with it. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And with this came this sticker sheet, super neat, and then a little note here from Jennifer. And then I also bought this journal so I can you know, I can write some notes in here and then I can get into like really writing more notes and prayers and praise. And it is also so beautiful. And it says his mercies are new every morning. Lamentations 323. I love that verse. Love the gold. Love the pink and the pastel colors, the butterfly and the flowers. It's just so beautiful. I love pretty things and this is just beautiful beautiful so she's got um, and she has this in the planner also how to use your journal and in here it's how to use your planner and you know they're just suggested ideas you can use it and work with it however you want but I do love a lot of her ideas she's got prompts in here and um, so here promise to pray and and then scriptures over here. I just love this, you know, obstacles that might prevent me from completing this journal and just has some goals there. Reflection, affirmation, uh, praise, rejoice, affirmation, yield, emotionally, reflection, forgiveness, uplift, lesson, and then prayers over here. This is just so, so beautiful. And this also came packaged the same way the other, uh, my planner did. So I'm really excited to use this. And again, I will have the links to Jennifer's website and to her Instagram as well as her YouTube channel. So if you wanna see more details of the planner and they have videos of people, you know, using and sharing layouts of their planners, really beautiful. And I'm really excited to use this format. So thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I know that this is not um, of interest to everyone. Um, I know not everyone is a planner or does faith planning, Bible planning, Bible, I call it Bible journaling, but um, whatever you call it, you know, to get the word of the Lord in your heart and um, just to live for Christ every day. You know, that is my goal, to be, to be a follower of Christ, to follow hard after him and to love him with all my heart, my mind, my strength, with everything within me, to live for him. And um, so I love to do my Bible journaling. I feel like it really helps me to do just what I shared, get the Lord's word into my being um, so that I can become more like Christ. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.